Hey, so I'm just uh, kind of hanging out at home today, and I thought I would do a, just a quick little review. Um, during Boxing Day, uh, I got my, actually for Christmas, I got my little uh, Vivitar camera. So I know I needed to get some uh, new micro SD cards. So I was looking for something large. I didn't know really how big you really needed for time and everything. So the bigger the card, the better. Anyway, on Boxing Day, I ended up buying this Lexar card. Uh, and this Lexar micro SD card, class 10, uh, retails at about $65, $69, somewhere in that here in Canada. Um, but it was on sale for Boxing Day for, uh, I want to say either, I think it was either 19 or 29 bucks, one of the two. Good deal. Class 10. Um, so, of course, this, you can see it, right, is the little card, 32 gig Lexar. Now, the nice thing is, is it comes with this little guy. So, um, I can pull the card out of my camera, take this, actually just stick it in there, and then pop it in the uh, USB of my computer. Um, so, I want to do a speed test on it, just for one. It says it's class, class 10. And... As you can see here, so I'll put up a screenshot here or a video. Um, I'm using the Black Magic uh, speed test. So during the read and writes here, as you can see, uh, it never really hits 10 megabits. Now, luckily for this camera, um, it really only needs a class four or a class six. So the speeds that it's getting is fine. Now, if you're running a higher-end card that requires a class 10, and it needs to be able to hit that 10 speed, um, this may not be the card that you need, even though it says it's a class 10. Now, the read speed is plenty fine. Uh, the read speed, speed is hitting 15 megabits or higher, which is fine. Um, but it's the right, and that's, of course, the important part for us that are writing video and stuff like that onto these cards. So anyway, I want to just give you a, uh, just a little to show it to you so you can see. Um, great having this. Now I don't know if the the USB is this little adapter is causing the read speed slowdown, um, but I am using this in a Mac with USB 3, so it's not the USB port that's causing the speed limit. It is possible that it's this, and if that's the case, then it's getting the speeds and that's good, um, but I really have my doubts. So anyway, Lexar, little slower in the right speeds that I would probably have hoped for, but not too bad. Perfect for me. And at the price, it was a good deal. Cool, guys. I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Thank mm -hmm. you.